hi in this video i'm going to show you how to implement dynamic data masking in fabric data warehouse so let's get started basically a dynamic data masking is one of the security feature in sql server and now in fabric data warehouse that helps to protect and limit the exposure of sensitive data to non-privileged and unauthorized users so in this video quickly i'm going to show you how we can implement that across different users in our organization enough of talking let's get started in this case i do have this data masking warehouse workspace created and of course i brought in the data from excel using the data flow gen 2 and of course the data is loaded into the hrd underscore info data warehouse i'm going to come into the warehouse so we can see the m records table and of course we can see different kind of columns such as the m id full name gender marital status email date of hire year in service we can also see other columns such as the qualifications the department the national insurance number annual salary and the pension now i'm going to go back to the workspace so basically i share this workspace the data warehouse particularly to one of the users in my organization i click on this horizontal ellipsis and then manage access and there we go so we can see enoch abiola who is just a viewer so i'm going to go to the chrome and this is users i shared the data warehouse weight so enoch abiola and of course you can see under the workspaces that data masking warehouse is visible to this particular user and of course we can see the warehouse itself there we go so we can see the m records table and of course we can see all the columns such as the m id full name and so on and so forth just like what i can say as the admin as the owner of the particular workspace so in this case there is absolutely no masking ap applied to any of the columns i'm going to go back to edge and let's go to the where itself so we want to actually create a new query so new query window now first let's actually write a simple select top three star from the amp records table so let's run and just see the top three rows so there we go now i'm just going to move this down a little bit so i'm going to put in a semicolon and now let's apply data masking to the marital status and the email address columns first so i'm going to use the alter table i want to alter the m record so want to alter the column which column the in this case marital status so i'm going to get rid of this and okay so we're going to actually add masked weight and then we'll open the bracket so i'm going to call function so we want to apply the default data masking so i'm just going to call the default with open and close in a bracket and i can close this function now this is all done so let's just go ahead and copy this i'm going to copy this and put in a semicolon control v so we want to apply masking to the email so i'm going to get rid of this particular marital status and let's replace with email so i'm going to run the two queries so there we go so you can see succeeded just in 739 milliseconds so of course when i actually call the table i can see all the records the column because i'm the admin okay let's go to chrome and in this case i'm going to refresh the page and after the refresh you can see the monitor status the email address columns are now masked so the person can actually see those information and that is super cool let's go back to the admin the edge so let's apply the dynamic masking to the annual salary that's going to be annual salary and the pension so ctrl c let's put in the semicolon ctrl v semicolon ctrl v so i'm going to replace this with annual salary and get rid of this and one of this email with pension so we'll apply the default so select the two queries again click on run and oh there's a problem we select the query okay so from here and then click on run and there we go so we can say succeeded just in 598 milliseconds that's fine let's go back to the chrome and i'm going to refresh and when i scroll to the right i can see we have bunch of zeros 
for the annual salary and then the pension. So this is working fine. So this is a way of actually hiding those important information. So for the last part, we actually want to hide some of the national insurance number. Now, in this case, we have the two letters to the left side of the cells, and then we have the separator, which is the iPhone. And of course, we have about six numbers. So we want to actually hide these two letters and then the six numbers, and then we want to expose only the last letters to the right. So let's go back to the user the admin user so i'm going to scroll down now i'm just going to copy this ctrl c so let's ctrl v now to so get rid of this pension and ni underscore number now i want to apply the partial masking to this national insurance so i'm going to get rid of this default okay so first we're going to call the single quote and then i'm going to type in the partial now the partial requires three arguments the starting index and the second argument is the replacement string and the third one is the length of substring to be replaced so let's call the function the partial open bracket and let's close the bracket for now now inside the bracket we want to actually start from zero and then put in the comma now i'm going to open two double quotes now inside the double quote let's go back to the data we actually want to add the two letters to the left and then the six numbers in between so that's going to be xx and then they separate to the iphone xxx xxx six times so and then of course we have to put in the iphone again and then i'm going to put in a comma and then we won't expose the last letter to the right or the c y u and so on so all things being equal this is fine so let's go ahead and execute or run the query and let me scroll up there we go succeeded just in one seconds five sixteen milliseconds so let's go back to the other user and let's refresh the url okay i'm going to scroll to the right and there we go so we can see the national insurance number are masked so we can only see the last letter to the right side of the cells basically how we can apply dynamic data masking in fabric data warehouse i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you and bye for now cheers